Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, Steve here. Going to be talking today about session nine of CPT for PTSD. And session eight, if you remember correctly, we were we were looking and introducing trust and trusting yourself, trusting others, making sure that we work through our worksheets the same way. Um, and, and really processing how those stuck points may be, you know, we may be getting hit with those stuck points because we are having trust issues, right? Um, trusting yourself to do the right thing, trusting yourself to, you know, to make it through, to do your thing, whatever it may be. And then obviously we have the trust of others, trusting that others are going to do what they say they're going to do, et cetera. <clears throat> so, um, during this, this session, we process through those worksheets that you already did during the last session about trust. Um, and we'll be using our famous stuck point log, which I have another copy of. And, you know, we'll be, we, in this session, the therapist is going to, again, go over with you the, sorry, I'm turning off my keyboard sound. Um, the therapist will go over your homework with you. They'll go over, you know, what the, what the expectations were from, you know, the challenging beliefs worksheets, etc. Uh, I've got a couple here that are based on trust. Um, and it's, uh, it was pretty interesting. I was, I had taken a trip to Austin for business and I got stuck in the airport on the way back. And at first it was like a one hour delay. And then there was another delay. And then there was a four hour delay. And then about an hour into that, they came back and said, well, <clears throat> plane's not working right. So we're gonna have to cancel it and book you in the morning. <coughs> Excuse me. That triggered all my spidey senses. And I kinda, you know, lost control at that point. What I did was I said, well, Austin is a seven and a half hour drive from home. I'm going to go find me a rental car. And I went to go find a rental car and there weren't any. And so, um, I went and stayed in a hotel and then the next morning got on a flight and got home. But, you know, during that time that I was delayed for four hours, I was thinking, man, I can't trust this airline. They don't know what the heck they're doing. They can't even keep their, you know, their flights in the air, their planes moving, etc. Um, so it was fear and anxiety is what I was going through. Uh, I'm looking through the challenging beliefs worksheet on this specifically. And then, you know, at the end of the day, you work through those thoughts, you get through the problematic patterns, and then you look at alternative thoughts. What could I have done? differently? What could I have thought differently? How could I have changed my perception of, of what happened? And so what I came up with was instead of saying, Hey, I can't trust this airline at all. Um, I put the delay. If maintenance issue is a good thing because it's being addressed instead of not being addressed and then going up into the air with a, you know, poorly maintained aircraft. So that made me feel a whole lot better. Um, and, and thinking about it that way has helped me several times since then. Um, I'm constantly traveling to cities that have delays. So, uh, well, consistently, not constantly, but consistently traveling to cities that have delays. And, you know, it, it, it helps to have a different way to think about these things so that I don't get stuck in my own head. <clears throat> so anyways, that's going to be the review. Still working through this head congestion thing and it sucks. <clears throat> That's gonna be the review of the trust uh, module, right? And now we're gonna introduce in session nine, we're gonna introduce power and control modules. And there's a couple things that go along with that. So we have the power control module. Um, power and control beliefs related to yourself which is beliefs that you can solve problems and meet challenges that you may face. Those are good. Um, and then there's power and control beliefs related to others. <clears throat> I'm 
beliefs that you can control others or future events related to others, including people in power. Now, I can change the country, right? No, you can't. Um, our country's going through its problems. So, um, here's the deal. You're going to go through the same type of process that we did in session eight um, with trust, where you look at these experiences, negative or positive, what the symptoms are, examples of how you get stuck, possible resolutions to it, for how you feel about control and power toward yourself and others. And you're going to use your stuck points log and you're going to be assigned challenging beliefs worksheets. And again, just like last week, you're going to be expected to go through and try and um, gear those stuck points toward power and control. Uh, the handout for the power and control issues uh, that for that module, it goes pretty in depth. Um, it's three pages instead of two this time, but it's worth a read before you even start doing your challenging beliefs worksheets. There's also another worksheet that they give you and they'll give you a sample and they'll give you a real one. I don't know what happened to my real one. Um, I think my therapist still has it off to ask him for that when I go visit him again. Um, but they have this sample trust star worksheet and they'll give you one that's blank as well for you to fill out. And what this does is, is <coughs> you write the different types of trust that you can think of. So here it says, keep private information. Trust them with my kid. <coughs> Returns money. Reliable, on time, supportive, protective, um, competent, faithful, doesn't gossip, keeps me physically safe, right? So you're gonna get all these different types of trust. And then you're gonna put them on your wheel. And there's, there's positives and negatives, right? Um, you're gonna wanna see where they where you are on each one of the wheels right so if you have a spoke that comes out how physically safe are they or you know how how physically safe do they make you feel do you trust them with your child yes or no no being on the opposite end no being so the tops are positive these are negative in nature and these are all positive in nature so you want to make sure that you you gear this thing properly um, they'll go over how to do this, but you basically put an X on the line to indicate how much you have of that trust. Um, and then they'll cover how to process that, right? And basically show you, hey, these are the things that we could probably focus on to help uh, to help you or that you know the therapist can work on to help you or as they did help me. Um, process those places where we have trust issues. So um, we introducing, we're introducing power and control. Uh, we have two sessions left. There's 10 and 11. I know I've been saying that there's 12 all along, but there's only two more sessions left. <clears throat> I'm probably going to cover both sessions in one recording next and we'll We'll see if I do it all in one recording or not. It depends on how deep we want to get into the topics. But um, work your work your understanding of power and control. And then once you've got that solid understanding, start filling out those challenging beliefs worksheets. And you'll get further and further along. Again, with only two more sessions left, we're going to do these challenging beliefs worksheets a couple more times. And then you'll have graduated from CPT. <coughs> I'm going to go try and get rid of this cough because it's making me nutty. All right. Um, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. If uh, this provided any value to you, please hit that like button below and consider subscribing and then sharing this with others. All right. Appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. Take care of each other.